<laughs> Sorry, Chris. You got booted. No, I'm just kidding. 915, do this now where it feels like. If it feels like you're seeing a lot of red today, you're not alone. It's National Wear Red Day, which brings awareness to the leading killer of women across our country. That's heart disease. Ashley is joined in the studio with the American Heart Association right now to share more about this special day, Ashley. Yeah, it's an important day for women everywhere, and we're joined with the American Heart Association, Cheyenne Miranda, the chair of the Go Red for Women campaign. First of all, good morning to you. Good morning. And How thank are you? you so much. I'm good. Thank you so much thank for being you. here with us. We're talking about a big topic today. We're all decked out here at Fox Carolina News in red, but everyone at home may not know why. What is so significant about Go Red Day? Yeah, so today is National Wear Red Day. Yeah. It's a day where we all come together, wear red to show our support and bring awareness to women's heart health. That's right, and it's such a big talker, not only here at Fox Carolina News, but really all across the U.S. And I was wondering if you could do like a breakdown of, um, you know, how many women here in our area suffer from cardiovascular disease. Yeah, well, most importantly, heart disease is the number one killer of women and men in the United States. Mm -hmm. um, one in three women suffer from a cardiac event, and one in three women die of a cardiac event each year. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we share information to hopefully reduce that risk and build healthier lives. That's really our mission here. Unfortunately, we're seeing younger women now with heart disease, so awesome. it's a critical time to get that message across, and hopefully we can uh, reduce that risk and, you know, keep, uh, keep wearing red. Yeah, to show uh, and promote awareness. What can we do to improve, improve those stats? Yeah, so there's a lot of things we can do. Knowledge is definitely key. Um, knowing your numbers, so cholesterol levels, blood pressure, BMI, also knowing your history. So genetics does play a big role in heart disease. And then of course exercise, being mindful of what you're consuming and also managing stress. Mm -hmm. Those are a few. Yeah, and today again is Wear Red Day, but it's such an important topic, but how can we go red and support women's health right here in the upstate all month long. So definitely keep wearing red and also just uh, support women of impact. And of course, also uh, visit uh, heart.org to get any more information and tips on how we can prevent heart disease. And I'm curious, how did you get involved with this cause? Yeah, so I knew I wanted to get involved with something in the community larger than myself. And I did some research on different organizations, came across the American Heart Association, and knew it was definitely something I could get behind, um, especially knowing how much it impacts women. Well, we are so proud to be able to back you in your efforts and Absolutely. support the cause. Again, it is Go Red for Women Day. We are promoting awareness about the number one killer in women, cardiovascular disease. That's why you'll see a lot of people, including folks here at Fox Carolina News, wearing red, including Margaret Ann Carter.